Let's go. <laughs> you have crazy hair. I just want to come. This is our morning ritual. Ready? Go! Coco, did you do a poo poo? She did. Did she? She just did a poo. Oh my god. She did like the healthiest poo. She's got to do the job of picking up the poop. Alfred's on poo duty. Pick up my poop. Pick up my poop. So we just got up and so with Coco, she kind of stays in between like our place and my parents' place. So this week she's at our place. So that involves taking her down to do her business, which she did, a really healthy one. And uh, yeah. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Oh my God, 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 you gross, gross, gross. So welcome to today's vlog. Today we thought we'd just kind of like film what usually happens when we have Coco at our place. She's quite a character. Uh, if you guys don't know, she has only three legs. Doesn't stop her from doing anything. She's our little tripod dog. Um, she lost her leg like when these two vicious dogs kind of like came into <coughs> my parents' place and they kind of like bit her and like roughed her up and then she broke her leg. She also got stitches everywhere, but she survived. And now she's like super healthy and she's really fast as well. So super we're gonna fast. spend the day with her today. One of the best things about Coco is we can walk her off leash. She kind of just follows us. It's right there, look. It's right here. So in the mornings we should just take her for a little walk around and then we go back up and like check our emails. Um, if we have any editing to do, we will. Later I have a call, so I gotta get up and like look presentable. Actually, I don't, it's just with my um, you have a call, two other friends. You have to look oh, it's a no, I'm sorry, I, like a Google Hangout, so it's like a Skype, like a uh, video okay. call. So, <laughs> not just like a call, I, I could be in bed doing that. I'm trying to give her just a little bit more. Yeah, that's enough. Then Coco gets her breakfast, which is some chicken breast. That actually looks pretty good. It actually smells so good. It smells like this canned chicken like that humans get. And she likes it. Oh my god, Coco, look at that. You're making a mess. for the whole day. So the rest of the day will involve me sitting like this with my messy table and I'm going to edit videos without moving my left arm so I do not wake Coco up. That's what mothers do. Just gotta, gotta sacrifice for your children, you know. Right, Coco? Is she sleeping? No, she's just staring off into the distance. Buddy. It's lunchtime now and Alfred's head is cut off in this. I know, it's just, it's just I don't know why. See, okay. Okay, this is better. Oh, excuse my no makeup face. Actually, it's been like that all day. Um, so it's lunchtime now. We are making pizzas. Alfred made pizza dough yesterday, so today we're having pizza again. Um, I'll show you. This is my pizza. I'm having like a vegetarian pizza today. This is Alfred's pizza. Wait, did you put any like ham on yours? No, That's I haven't finished yet. I'm gonna finish it off. You're gonna with finish some your masterpiece? And some more cheese. And Coco is supervising today. So the oven is ready, it's been preheated. So we're just gonna just pop the pizzas in now. But it should be about seven minutes, give or take. Oh, it is hot. Let's see how it goes. And now. 
we wait. Alfred and I like to just sit here and watch our pizzas cook because there's just something so satisfying about it. Plus, we get to join Coco. Now we just played the waiting game, right Coco? It's been seven minutes. I think the pizzas are almost ready. How's my bottom one going? It's bubbling. It's bubbling. Yeah, it's bubbling the cheese is bubbling now. Okay, let's take it out. Okay. Coco, come here. It's too hot. Come here. Come here. She could wants to first run. Yes, good girl. Come here. You sit there. Sit on the mat. Look at that. Ooh. All right. This smells great. I'm so hungry. Alfred's oh, so hungry. Oh. Careful. Watch out. Mmm. Looks good. This one's my one. The vegetarian pizza. That looks really. That looks so good. Wow. That came out so well. Lunch is served. Mm. So Alfred learned how to make pizza dough at his like my works Christmas, Christmas party. party. <laughs> yeah, the Christmas party. That's a good takeaway that I got. I think that's probably the only thing I learned from work. Now you may be wondering why am I in a robe? I live in robes, pretty much, mm. all day, every day. I love my robes, especially now that it's getting a bit cooler in Sydney. So I live in robes. Also, another random thing that we usually do, but I do it a lot. I always stand up and eat because I, I'll cook. I'll have to be sitting down sometimes and then like, we're the same height because when he sits down, I stand up. It's, we're exactly the same height. So I'm always standing up to eat. Yeah, this okay. kitchen bench is like a key part of our lives. I think if we find a new place, we definitely have to have like an island like this. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to just uh, finish our lunch, get some more editing done. Oh yeah. Three hours later. What did we do for the past, what, three hours, four hours? Wasn't that long? It wasn't that long. Well, we end we ended the last shot eating uh. pizza and it was broad daylight. <laughs> and now look, look at this place. We actually do not spend enough time on this balcony. <laughs> no. So we live in an apartment and we have like a massive balcony and the only time we kind of really used it when we had friends over for barbecues and then sometimes they'll go out here but today it's actually quite nice. It's not like too cold. It's actually quite warm today. Yeah. Um, so for the past few hours I just finished editing and then we had a little nap. <laughs> the funny thing is, ev everything we did, everywhere we were, Coco was right next to us. Yeah, Coco is such a clingy dog, like speaking of which. Hi Coco. So, when we nap, she naps with she us. She naps, we <laughs> go to the bathroom, she waits outside, we take a shower, she waits outside, we go to the kitchen. She's just a very clingy dog. So if, if you guys have a clingy pet, let us know. I mean, it's really nice as well when you come home and you have someone to be like, oh my god! excited to home but at least they have that love for you which I love I love dogs I love animals I think the best thing about her is she's just like the smartest dog like whatever she wants she'll let you know like if she needs to go to the toilet she'll kind of like make noises or just sit down yeah. in front of you, just stare into your face yeah. into your soul and you're like okay what do you want do you want something she's really good at communicating and I think mm. like we've trained her like that as well like if she doesn't pee inside the house she doesn't poop out in, inside if she wants to go out do her business she, she'll let us know if she's hungry if she's thirsty and we've had her for like 10 years like 10 human years so she's like she's a like, granny now she's a bit of a granny now <laughs> but she looks like a puppy still how do I do this again <laughs> you've forgotten how to do the harness I always have to like do it up and then like okay yes good girl wait wait okay the, the doggy bags it's really important we got like we quickly got changed because we're going for a longer night walk, like an evening walk, so Coco can get some fresh air and look at she's doing her business. Oh no. Oh. Well, you bought the doggy bag, right? This is what you have to do when you're a parent. Well, it's your turn now. I don't even see it. Oh no, I see it. Oh, it's a healthy one. It's my, oh, it stinks, man. This thing, I can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going downstairs and we usually pick Coco up because lately she was like um, not using her back leg for some reason. 
so we're just worried she may have injured it or maybe it's a bit painful to put pressure on her so up and down the stairs we kind of usually pick her up and you know walk her down anyway so today um it was kind of like one of our boring days we didn't really go anywhere just stay at home editing and we always have those days throughout the week some days we spend all day filming and the other days we just spend editing and yeah today was just one of those at home days so put the leash on her but no one is actually holding the leash. <laughs> she kind of walks herself until we feel the need that like, okay, we should stop her. So she just walks herself like this until one of us decides to hold the leash and it's Alfred. And now we just follow her. She walks us. She walks us. It's dinner time now and we're just making dinner. Alfred's <laughs> using his favorite thing, the wok. We're gonna cook some like, veggies. I made some Korean noodles, which I'm gonna mix up soon. Alfred's gonna cook this. What's it called in English? Morning Glory. Yeah, Morning Glory. And we've already cooked up some pork. Once again, Coco is patiently waiting. We will feed you when we eat, Coco. Your food will come. So we popped some garlic in the pan. Now we're putting in some exo. Whilst that's cooking, I'm going to mix up these noodles. So there's cabbage and cucumber at the bottom. I'm just using my hands to mix it. So that's the noodles done. The veggies done, the meat done, and then I have leftover pizza. And Coco gets her food. And now we eat. Bon appetit. And of course, whilst we eat, we have Coco staring to our souls. Coco, is that a piece of chicken on your mouth? Coco, come here. Coco. Let's do it.